Do you like Cajun smoked turkey breast, smoked Gouda mashed potatoes, butter glazed carrots, sweet potato pie, maybe a green bean casserole? Well, it's a Traeger Thanksgiving today. Let's get started. First thing we did was call up our good buddy Kevin Green down at the butcher shop in Pensacola, Florida and got two beautiful five pound boneless turkey breasts. I'm gonna keep it simple today. I'm gonna take and trim this fat off. I do not want it on the turkey breast, so just start on the skin and just roll it back. You just gonna trim any fat off that you can. Now that we've got the fat removed off of our boneless turkey breast, I've got 16 ounces of just water and a quarter cup of my chicken injection and brine. I just got this mixed up in a shaker cup. Now, I'm gonna pour it up in one of my cups here so I can inject it. I'm gonna keep it simple today. Just kinda put about eight ounces in each breast. Now that we've got 16 ounces of our chicken injection and brine injected into our turkey breast, all that I wanna do is get them on a little rack here to get them elevated where I can get them seasoned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them onto this rack. I'm gonna do the bottom first. All right, we've got our turkey breast turned over. The first thing I'm gonna do is use a little mayonnaise as a binder on this turkey breast. I know you're thinking this is weird. This is gonna cook off. It gives it a good color and a good binder. All right, as far as seasoning goes, we're gonna keep it simple. A little bit of simple citrus, which is salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder a little bit of lemon and a little bit of citrus note, and some Cajun Creole garlic butter for those little bit of buttery Cajun flavors that we all love. Ooh, those look beautiful. Only thing left to do, we've got our Traeger grill, our Timberline 1300 running at 300 degrees with some cherry Traeger pellets. Let's get this rack on the grill and let's get it cooking and let's make up some delicious sides. All right, our turkey breasts are on and I wanna get started on my pie so it can cool down. I've got two frozen pie crusts. I've got some sweet potatoes. Now this recipe, we're gonna put it up on the screen so everybody can see it. But take your sweet potatoes and a stick of butter, three eggs, sugar, and evaporated milk. And then I'm gonna take a teaspoon of pure vanilla and put in. All right, once we do that, all we gotta do is mash it up. Now that we've got all this mixed up, we wanna get it divided equally into our pie shells here so we can get it on. Now that we've got both our pies in the pie crust, all we want to do is get them on the grill at 325 degrees for about 45 minutes on the top rack. I fired up my Ironwood 885 to do this job here because I don't want to crowd those turkey breasts. On our roasted carrots, we're keeping it simple too. Now they need to hurry up and go on as soon as you get your turkey on because they're going to take a while. I brush them with a little bit of oil is all I've done. I'm going to use a little bit of honey rub for now. That's it. Get a little bit of honey rub on them. That's it. Now I'm gonna let them get on and I'm gonna roast and then I'm gonna start glazing them with some butter and some maple syrup at the end on a pan to kind of glaze them up and get a sweet glaze on the outside. But for now, I'm just gonna get them on and let them roast. All right, our turkey's still cooking, so let's get some classic green bean casserole going. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and get one can of cream of mushroom soup in the uh, bowl here. So once I get this in, I'm gonna pour in three quarter cup of milk. Now I'm just gonna kinda of stir this around and get it incorporated. Now, while I got that mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in a little bit of everyday rub. And remember, season this with what you like and the flavors you like, and I'm gonna use a little bit of my garlic butter. I like a little bit of kick to it. So once I mix that up a little bit, I'm gonna take two cans, just 14 and a half ounce, and drain them of green beans. 
Get this mixed up with about three quarters cup of cheddar cheese. You can use a little more on top if you dish, if you want to, it's up to you. And let's get a little bit of French fried onions. Now you can use about a cup if you want to. This is what I like doing to put in the casserole dish and I'm gonna save the rest of them to go on top. So I'm just gonna mix this around and get it in my cast iron dish to go on my Traeger Timberline to let it heat up. Now, once you've got it all spread out like you like, I'm gonna take a little bit more everyday rub and kind of sprinkle on top. All right. And I'm gonna take my remaining French fried onions and kind of just top it. Now, you can add additional cheese if you want, like I said. But now, let's just get this on the Traeger, let it bake, let it get golden brown and bubbly. And it's gonna go great as a side dish with our turkey. Remember, our green bean casserole can be cooked on any temp. We're keeping it at about 300 degrees because that's what our turkey breast is cooking at. You just want to peek at it every now and then, and once the cheese gets melted and it gets bubbly, it's going to be done. Call it 45 minutes to an hour. All right, our carrots have been cooking for right at about an hour and 20 minutes. I've got a half a stick of melted butter. I'm going to go about a half a cup of maple syrup. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more honey rub to this. Just a little bit. Now I wanna stir this around. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna glaze it on these carrots. And you more or less pour this glaze on here. May or not have should have poured that much, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. Now I'm gonna put this back on the Traeger and let it bake off. And these are gonna be some good glazed carrots when we're done. All right, we're back. Let's get our mashed potatoes made. I've took and I've cut two pounds of Yukon gold potatoes into chunks, boiled them. So I've got two pans quartered and boiled softened. I've got two sticks of butter. Let's get this butter in here and get it mashed up. Once you get your butter and your mashed potatoes here, I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic butter rub and season them in. All right, and I'm gonna take a little bit of everyday, some salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a few other things, get that sprinkled in. Now, Gouda, smoked Gouda cheese. I've grated about two cups here. I'm gonna save a little bit for the top. All right, let's get this in. Get it mashed in, and while we're doing that, let's pour in three quarter cups of milk. Make them potatoes creamy. Now that I've got all the liquid incorporated in mine, I'm gonna go ahead and take a greased cast iron dish and scoop them into it. Now that we've got everything in our cast iron dish, we wanna take our Gouda cheese, what's left over, and just kind of ease it around on the potatoes here. Now, once we get that done, we're gonna come back with a little more rub on top, a little garlic butter. And a little bit of everyday rub. All right, now, let's get it over on the Traeger. Let this cheese get gooey. We're back, it's been a little over three and a half hours and all our food is cooked. So you can see cooking a simple meal on the Traeger is very easy. Let's recap a little bit. We run one of our grills at 300 and one of them at 350. We just baked the pies on the one grill. Everything else we've done at 300 degrees. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's get in here, slice some of this turkey breast and get it plated up. As you can see, this turkey is gonna be moist. Whew, it's still warm. Look at that juice in that bird. That's what we're looking for. That little bit of pool right there like that. Mmm. Mmm. That is not your grandma's turkey right there. That is so good, so delicious. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along, because we're doing it all as you can see. We're giving to you Thanksgiving the way you want it on the Traeger. 
Check us out next week. We'll be back.